Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Full Face Friday. I wanted to make this video every product under $5, a full face of using all of these products that are incredibly affordable, but that's really difficult to find in Canada. I must say there's a couple brands like Wet n Wild and NYC that actually have a few and I'm being like a couple of products that are actually under $5, so it was really difficult. So yesterday, Dan and I went on a little road trip. And so we came to America. It's a quick gander across the border, and here they have many more options, like Ulta, Target. There's just more brands available here, and typically for a cheaper cost. So the first thing I learned when preparing for this video is that it's actually very difficult to find products that are actually under $5. And for those of you who live in Canada, even us crossing the border and going to the States and buying a lot of products that had a label that was under $5 after the conversion of our crap dollar, not many of these products actually ended up being $5. That being said, if you're looking like even under the $10 mark, there are so many products that are available to you under that price range. The only problem with products that are in this price range is that you don't get a really good shade range and the quality of the ingredients they won't necessarily be as good as products that are at a higher price point so that's the only thing I'll say a lot of these products I've used and loved for years like the NYX butter glosses for those of you who have been in the YouTube beauty community for a long time people used to rave about those those were in everyone's favorites vanilla cream pie Hello, everyone loved them. There's a lot of great products here. What I wanted to do was go ahead and create a full face. This is gonna be a really long video, you guys, because there's also a lot of alternative products that I wanted to talk about, some products that aren't necessarily under $5, but are really close to the mark. And I also have my receipts in front of me so that I can go through and give you the exact accurate cost of each product. So there's gonna be a lot of talking in this video. There's gonna be a lot of products watching in here. An overall chat. Here we go, folks, full face using products under $5. Okay, so the first product that I wanted to try is this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. This one was $5.99 US. It's not quite under $5, I'm sorry. Primers aren't really necessary. You got some sunflower seed oil in here, some beeswax, and some cranberry fruit water, so not bad. Let's give this a try. Um, this is supposed to give a healthy glow and have a pore minimizing effect. It smells exactly like baby wipes. <laughs> I'm oh, very curious. I think that Essence in general is one of the best affordable brands that you can find and they're pretty widespread across the world. So I'm just going to apply this to my face. Very, very glowy. They didn't have any other shades of this. However, this doesn't have any kind of coverage or anything. So I do think that this could suit most skin tones. It doesn't feel bad on my skin. I definitely agree with the Awake feel. We'll see how it sits underneath the foundation, but I did want to get the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Foundation. It's the same brand and it goes along with the primer. How much was this one? Brig. Okay, so this one was $6.99. So in that case, what you could do, I am going to apply this, but what you can do is take a primer, take your moisturizer, take whatever you wanted, and take your concealer, take a more full coverage concealer or medium coverage, whatever coverage you're kind of looking for, mix those together with whatever other cream-based or glow-giving product that you want mix that in and you can apply that all over your face and that's no problemo. But I did just wanna test this out and see how it applies. So I got the shade 20 Fresh Nude. There were not many shades of this at all, my dad. I also picked up the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. This one was $4.99. So I'm just going to blend that in with my fingers. I feel like because it is a water-based foundation, it should be okay with the finger pockets. That's honestly looking really pretty so far. It's a perfect shade match. I'm actually, mm, I don't think I'm gonna use this. I think I'll save this for concealer because that blended out really nicely with my fingers. Sweet. So for concealer, I picked up the LA Girl Pro Concealer High Definition. These are also $4.99 each. I got two shades just in case. This one's porcelain, which actually doesn't look all that light. So again, not the best. Oh, it's a brush. I didn't even realize. Look at that. It has a brush tip. Cool. Okay, so we'll just use that. I'm gonna squeeze it through. This is the shade porcelain. I'm just gonna use that under my eyes a little bit. I feel like I've heard people talk about the LA Girl concealer a lot in the past. So we'll test it out today. I've got a lot of redness on my chin right now, so I'm just gonna pack that on a little bit. And then I'm going to use the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, which feels really nice and juicy and lovely and fluffy. Mm, that's, that's really white. I'm gonna take a little bit of the next one down. This one is in Creamy beige. Yeah, I've got drunk beige, beige from my shoe. shoe. <laughs> I'm gonna mix in a little bit of that. This one's like super dark and super orange. 
So hopefully the two will balance out nicely. I really like this little brush thing. It's very soft. So I'm just gonna blend this in with the sponge. This one feels really good. It's really bouncy. I'm just taking the pointy end and blending that in. Super full coverage concealer. I also applied a schmack ton, but that's why I use the sponge. If you use something that's a little bit more full coverage or if you're using a little bit more product, the sponge will kind of help to absorb the excess product and give it a more natural look on the skin. I'm gonna also take the excess and just go over my eyelids with that. This is applying really, really nicely. I'm very impressed with this concealer. I feel like I should just leave it like this and go about my day. <laughs> I also just realized that as I said powder, I forgot to buy powder. But this is giving me a pretty natural matte finish anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about the powder. Okay, this is such a beautiful base. I am so impressed. I'm gonna just come up really nice and close for you guys. But look at that, that's completely flawless. Again, the only problem with these products is that they just don't have a good shade range, but with this concealer, it's such good coverage. This is definitely a product that you could mix in with your face cream or a primer or anything if you wanted to stay under that $5 budget and you could definitely just blend this out. Um, and this sponge also was freaking beautiful. Love this base so far. We'll see how it holds up throughout the rest of the video. I'm really impressed. The only contour product that I found that was under the $5 mark was this NYC Showtime Sculpting Powder. They had two shades of this, not really differing. Again, they didn't have any darker shades or any lighter shades. There were just two of these at Walmart. And this was $5.47, so it's not under $5, but it's kind of at that $5 mark. Another thing that I also wanted to do with this video is I have removed all of my normal brushes and I wanted to only use affordable under $5 brushes and those existed in e.l.f. The e.l.f. brushes are all under $5. I think these were like 2 or $3 each. They were all differently priced depending on the product. So I wanted to do that for you guys here today as well. I'm going to use this angled blush brush and dip into the contour shade. And I'm gonna really lightly apply that. The thing with this, this is a really stiff brush so you want to use a light hand because it's not going to blend out the product too nicely and swiftly but this is actually a really nice shade and that was quite pigmented not bad not bad at all this is a nice contour powder good job nyc what i might do is actually use this highlighter on one side and there's another one i wanted to try as well on the other side so i'm going to take this elf oh it's the highlighting brush look at that i'm going to dip into the highlighter here That, that, that did nothing. Okay, good to know. So the highlight did not show up, so therefore I am going to use the other one, but the contour shade on that was really nice. I put a lot more on that side, but that's fine. We'll fix it up on there. I really was excited to try this Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter because I'm pretty sure that this is the one that Kathleen Lights raved about this. I remember she posted a favorite highlighters video and she had one of them from Essence that I had never seen before. It was always sold out at the Shoppers Drug Mart. I remember going and actively trying to buy it and I'm pretty sure that this is the one. This is beautiful. It's called number 40, Be My Sunlight. And this was actually on sale. The regular price is $4.99, but this was on sale for $2.99 at Ulta and it looks beautiful and I'm really excited to try it. So I'm going to try that. Oh, it's definitely golden. That's really pretty. There's no chunky glitter in here either. It's definitely on the gold side. It's not as champagne-y as I kind of thought it would be. But this is gorgeous. And this is a really nice brush. Wow, $2.99? You friggin' can't beat that, Batman. That is beautiful. Look at that! I'm like blown away by this highlighter right now. This is gorgeous. I just want to douse my entire body in it right now. Wow, Kathleen, if this is the one you were talking about, I salute you. This is beautiful. If it's not the exact one, well then. This is also beautiful and I'm so thrilled with this. That is freaking gorgeous. So moving on to bronzers, I really struggled. The only bronzer that I found in the $5 mark was the NYC City Proof 10 Hour Bronzing Face Powder. This one right here. Also e.l.f. had this golden bronzer, which is their little bronzing quad. But this is very, very light and it's very shimmery. And I think that this would work better as a highlighter on a lot of people. If you have very fair skin, this would be a perfect nice shimmery bronzer for you. But this could almost be like a face powder for me. So I wanted to pick up the NYC one and show you this other option as well. If you live in Canada, Annabelle has amazing bronzers as well. They were a little bit more. I think that they were selling for about $7.99, but they're perfect bronze bronzer and then they have a perfect glow highlighter 
those are beautiful. I've actually used them in a video before and I really enjoyed them. The bronzer was gorgeous, but again, not much of a shade range. So anyway, I'm gonna stick to this um, NYC bronzer and I wanted to mention my e.l.f. large stipple brush. This was not available in store individually. It was in Ulta in one of their big brush kits. I'll link the brush kit in the description box down below. You can order online. e.l.f. also has a lot more options online than they do in store and they have a lot of great products as well. Their brushes are my favorite. I've been using this one forever and I would have bought the brush kit just to show you guys like a newer version because this one is so old but the Alta was actually out of stock so um I will try and link it down below, but this is usually my go-to bronzer brush. And because it is still available in some capacity, I am going to use it with this bronzer here and see, oh wow, that's very pigmented, how it goes. I love the stipple brush for bronzer because I find it just applies the product so much more lightly than another brush. You could definitely use the angle brush, but this one's more thin. It doesn't have as much surface area to it, which is why I used it for the contour because I'm not, trying to apply that over such a large portion of my face, whereas the bronzer, I just wanna slap that on everywhere. This is a really pretty color, and it's going on really nicely. It's blending really nicely. I always take my bronzer like across my eyebrows like that too, I don't know why. I feel like I watched someone do that in a video once a long time ago, and then I started doing it. Anyway. What a lovely base, I'm so impressed with this. And all the products were almost under $5. <laughs> this is the base up close. I'm obsessed with that highlighter, guys. I'm obsessed. For the brows, I couldn't find a pencil or anything that was under $5. I did want to mention that the NYX micro brow pencil, if you guys have been following me for a long time, you'll know that I have used and loved this over the years a ton. It's a gorgeous pencil. They have a pretty good shade range with this too. However, I wanted to pick up this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. Just a clear brow gel because most of the time I don't fill my brows anyway. You can also use an eyeshadow to fill in your brows if you so feel. But even just setting your brows is great. I really like the brush on this actually. That's really good. But one of the products that has always been a dupe for brow gel is the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. I wanted to pick this one up as well just to use and compare and see how it holds up. But the Essence one was a lot cheaper which is why I'm using that today because I don't think the Great Lash was quite under five dollars i also just realized i forgot to mention blush um i purchased one blush this is the elf peach perfection cream blush sorry we'll just go back and apply this there's a ton of blushes that are available for under five dollars i wanted to try this because i'd never tried a cream blush from elf before and this is actually the elf small stipple brush which is perfect for applying cream products. So onto the eyes, it was pretty difficult to find products that were actually under $5. The Wet n Wild at the Walmart I went to was tragically out of stock of most things, but Wet n Wild has a ton of palettes that are under the $5 mark. They're amazing. The Wet n Wild quality is incredible. My only complaint with the Wet n Wild eyeshadows in the past is that they didn't have many shade options. So when I went to the Walmart today, I saw these. These big palettes, I've never seen these before. I don't know how new they are. I haven't been delving into the drugstore world very much lately, so they probably aren't that new. I'm probably pretty late to the game. These are their color icon shadows, and this is one, two, three, four, five. These have 10 colors in them, and these were the three that were available at my Walmart. Sorry, let me just open this. This is not a basic peach. This has some really beautiful dupes for some warm shadows in here, some fun pops of color. This one right here is called Nude Awakening. I thought this was such a beautiful kind of cool tone palette that'd be really nice for every day. This little deep burgundy kind of brown color here looks absolutely stunning. And then the last one that I got is called Rose in the Air, and this is the one I wanted to play with today. I think it's really pretty. Again, some really nice pops of color in here. Again, it's not entirely under the $5 mark, but I just wanted to say that Wet n Wild does have a lot of eyeshadows that are in that price range, and these ones are really beautiful and definitely the best palettes I've seen Wet n Wild come out with yet, and I think these are gore. Jeff. However, I also did pick up some products that were actually under $5. Essence again had this little refillable palette here that you can pop four eyeshadows into. I picked up four. They're not really the colors I wanted to use today. Uh, and they didn't really have many options, but each of these were just over a dollar that you can put into the palette and make your own. Let's try this one right here. This is the shade Miss Foxy Roxy. So you just take the lid off here and then you plop it into the palette. This one's a really nice warm bronzy color. Look at that. That's beautiful. That was the little palette I built with the Essence eyeshadows. Very, very nice. I think it's very wearable and perfect for every day. So those are the swatches of the four shadows that I put into my little Essence palette. 
really beautiful quality. Again, each shadow was just over a dollar and then you bought the pan separately and they're really gorgeous. I bought two of the e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes. This is the fluffy eye blender brush and this is the contour brush. Interesting. I wanna take this transition shade right here. This is a warmer transition. I'm just gonna use that with the big e.l.f. fluffy brush. I am so impressed. Okay, I'm so sorry. I did just wanna use that transition shade because it was really pretty, but I will stick to the rest of the $5 one. I'm gonna take this bronzy shade from my Essence palette, and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Oh, that's such a pretty color. and so creamy. That just went on so nicely. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown and the little contour brush. I'm just gonna try deepening up that outer crease a little bit. I'm just gonna blend the shadow onto the lashes a little bit. Not bad, y'all. Not bad at all. And then I'm gonna take this smaller brush, dip it into the bronzy shade, and I'm just gonna run that lightly along the lower lash line. I am blown away. I am so blown away right now. These are beautiful. I just wish they had more shades. I wish they had more shades, but the shades that they do have, these are absolutely gorgeous. Really quickly, just to finish off the eye, I'm gonna dip back into the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, and I'm just going to use that to apply. Oh, it's such a pretty highlighter. I love this so much. Okay, I also wanted to note that this brow gel has failed. My, <laughs> my brow hairs have sunk greatly. I'm gonna try dipping into this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and see if this holds up a little bit better. Interesting. We've got an interesting little wave going on here. <laughs> so we'll see how this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara holds up a little bit. Hopefully it's a little bit better than that Essence one. You know what? I'm actually just gonna dip into that highlighter again. I'm just gonna, in true Alanarama fashion, just dip that in the middle of the lid. Oh yes, that brings a lot more light to the eye. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, so moving on to the lips. I got a lot of lip products that I wanted to try and swatch a little bit. These are the NYX Slim Pencils. I got three shades because these were each $2.76. I just realized I haven't opened them yet. How annoying. I'm going to try this one here. This is the shade Nude Beige. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I just swatched it next to my beloved Makeup Forever one. This is the NYX. This is my Makeup Forever 5C lip liner. So the 5C was a little bit Wama. Oh, it's super creamy. For $2, this is amazing. I also realized I just skipped the mascara, sorry. I have had so much coffee today, my brain is literally like, ah! I'm forgetting everything I'm doing, but anyway, this is the shade Nude Beige. That's gorgeous, love that. I'm gonna try the deeper one after. Let's, let's backtrack a little bit and go back to mascara. Not too many mascaras for under $5 that were available. Essence, again, had a ton. All of their mascaras were under $5 at Ulta, and I got two to try. I got the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara, and then this one is the Hashtag Lashes of the Day, super volume mascara. I really love the Alme thickening mascara. That was about seven or eight ninety nine, but it was actually out of stock at the Ulta. I did want to purchase that one again. And then also the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara is beautiful. That one again is not anywhere near the kind of five dollar mark. So we're going to try out the Essence ones. I'm going to see this I Love Extreme mascara. I'll just put one on either eye and see how they compare. I really don't like this wand. It's kind of terrifying. But let's see how it applies. You know, it's actually really nicely gripping the lashes. Like, this says crazy volume, but this is really lifting my lashes from the root. I wouldn't give it the title of crazy volume. Lifting, however, definitely. That just gave me such an awake <laughs> look to my eyes. Let's try the lashes of the day on the other side. This is definitely a wand that I prefer. It's a little bit more soft. I got it on my lid, sorry. Not seeing a lot of volume. And both of them honestly look pretty equal. Both of my lashes feel so lifted. For $4? Pretty freaking sweet, Essence. All right, so back to the lips. <laughs> so this is the same NYX lip liner. This was $2.76, and this is the shade Nude Truffle. I think this one will be a little bit deeper. Yeah, so here's Nude Truffle next to the Makeup Forever and the Nude Beige. I'm just gonna apply this one over top. This is really pretty on its own. I really like this nude truffle shade. The NYX Butter Glosses, Fortune Cookie, Tiramisu, and Creme Brulee, all gorgeous nude shades. They smell like vanilla. They're so nice. Actually, no, screw it. Let's just put this on. This is Fortune Cookie. This is a really nice, just 
nude gloss. That'd be really pretty actually just alone with this. That's very nice. And the NYX Butter Glosses are regularly priced $4.99 and it was a buy two get one free at Ulta which saved $1.39 so they were $3.60 each from Ulta. So those are lovely. I'm just gonna wipe the gloss off really quick and I wanted to swatch some of the other lipsticks. These are two NYC lipsticks that I picked up. Brutal packaging to remove, might I add. They just had like tape around this. I actually had Dan take a knife to this and open it for me because I was struggling so hard. These ones were $2.77 Canadian each at Walmart, so that would be even less. They're probably under a dollar in the States if they have NYC. Um, but I really want to try this. This is 304 Mocha. <gasps> Oh, what a nice, like, deep brownie color. Oh my God, that looks gorgeous with this eye look. That is so pretty. They smell really good too. They smell like sweet candy. I really like that. It'd probably be easier to apply with a lip brush just to fix up the edges. But what a gorgeous fall color. 304 Mocha NYC. Okay, this is the shade 301 Cafe. This one looks a little bit... Oh, yeah, no, I don't like that. I thought maybe it would come off a little bit and it could be a nude, but that is just like a shimmery silver nude. Not into that one. Okay, and then I picked up a couple, a couple, I picked up five of these Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip Colors. They looked really beautiful. And these ones were $3.97 Canadian, which again would make it a lot more cheaper in the States. This one is Cherry Bomb. I can't tell if they have a smell. It's like a nice deep purple. I thought, oh my God, it perfectly matches my sweater. <laughs> How lovely. They're so pigmented. This is such a beautiful color. I feel like I should just stop here. I might just stop here and just keep this lip color on. I'm so sorry. Definitely two favorites. Cherry Bomb and then NYC Mocha. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors for fall. I'll just watch a couple of the other ones for you. This was the Mega Last lip color in the shade Just Peachy, which looks a little bit too peachy for my liking, but that would be really pretty with more of like a deeper brownie nude lip liner. This one is in the shade Black Orchid. Again, I thought this would be a really beautiful color for fall. Black Orchid right there absolutely gorgeous. This one is in the shade Just Garnet, and this one's broken. It doesn't twist up. Oh, well, we can still get a little bit here. That's the Just Garnet, really pretty kind of hot pink color, and this is in Think Pink. I thought it would be a really beautiful, cool toned pink, which it does look so lovely. Wow, they're so Obsessed. Okay, the last thing I wanted to just swatch for you guys really quick. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss. This one right here is the shade Wined and Dined. And I thought it would go really pretty with this, but it might be... Eh, I'll try it. That is the gloss there. Look at how pigmented that is. That is nuts. I'm going to try just putting a little bit... I'll just gloss this up a little bit. It actually goes really... It meshes perfectly with this color. They smell so good too. I love it, I love it. This has been such a great experience. Okay, so the final product that I wanted to test out is this Essence Glow To Go Illuminating Setting Spray. This was, this was also $4.99. I'm going to shake it up. It says that it'll give you a delicate glow effect on your complexion thanks to fine light reflecting particles. Additionally, it fixes and protects, protects reliably your makeup with blurring effect. Good. Good English. I'm just gonna do a test spray away from my face. Oh yeah, that's a spitter. Okay, there we go. Actually quite a nice fine mist. Oh my God. Look at that, do you see the dots? Oh my God, what a mistake. Oh, oh dear. Well, I'm just gonna take my sponge and try to blend that out without disturbing all of the makeup. Oh no, it's curdling it. This is so sad. Ah, scratch that setting spray. Wasn't so bad. The sponge really nicely blended out. Thank God. All right guys, this is the final makeup look. This is the full face using all products almost under $5. Okay, I'm just zooming you out a little bit so that we can sit and chat. So this is the finished makeup look. I'm so impressed. This is such a perfect look for fall or winter, or if you're just feeling extra warm and toasty, I think it's so beautiful. It turned out 
so well. There were so many products in here that I think are just so good. I'm actually so impressed with the base. I'm just gonna go through and talk about a couple of my favorites. I think this LA Girl Concealer is amazing if this is indeed the one that has been hyped up over the years. Well, I'm sorry that I have waited this long to try it, but I'm really impressed. It had incredible coverage and the Real Techniques blending sponge with it. You can use this damp or dry. I did use it damp and it did expand a little bit and this blended everything out so nicely. I didn't even need a powder for this. It has such a gorgeous natural matte finish on the skin. The Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, absolutely beautiful in Be My Sunlight. The eyeshadows, I can't even express my excitement over these. I think Wet n Wild did such a good job expanding their colors. And then the Essence shadows were beautiful. Such a nice formula. I do wish they had a few more shades, but you never know. They could be expanding in the future. And I also only did see the one store, so they might even have more shades available online or elsewhere. I'm not not sure but I thought that was a beautiful idea and it's really nice it's very rare at the drugstore to see um, such affordable products and like being able to build your own palette that's very rare so essence that's amazing all the lip products I'm so impressed with these and NYX lip liners for just over two bucks Wow, I'm so impressed you guys I really hope that you enjoyed this incredibly long video but hopefully this gave you a nice dip into a lot of products that are so affordable in the five dollar range but that are performing beautifully I love how this makeup turned out and let me know any of your guys's favorite favorite affordable products in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!